all it is. We Khabib. just got breaking news right now. Khabib canceled. On no, the no, 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 no. Oh, no. Dana, Dana was on SportsCenter. GSP versus Bisping for the middleweight title. No date set. Is that but, right? Yeah, I just got the Wow. From That's uh, breaking news. Which by the time you hear this will be old. <laughs> uh, this will be from, but that's amazing. GSP Bisping. Yeah, that's, that's the money fight that Bisping wanted. Look, I, uh, I'm happy for them. I personally would have given that. Uh, oh, is Yoel hurt or no? Is he just getting passed over? He's getting passed he's over. Fucking, he's fucking. Yoel Corleone. I was I stepped I'll over. You, man, I'll tell you, that that's a tough fight for for George. Yes, it is. Because Bisping is very underrated on his scrambling, getting back to his feet. He's a very hard guy to pin down. He's a very good go- and he's very active standing up and he's got a, he's got the size. It's a big fight. But but Fuck. but George is a master at closing that distance and putting it down. Is he who's going to start to I mean and but Bisping doesn't get tired. I'm gonna is turn. I mean I could see could George get on his back off one of those exchanges? Uh I can't see George hurting him standing. Uh When is that fight? I'll tell you. I'll tell you how about this. No e- date set. Either Just... one of those welterweights is a better matchup. Not that they're easy matchups, but either one, you know, both Steven and Woodley, well, just for the fact of the size difference alone. And I think Bisping's going to be harder to hold down than either one of those guys. And those, listen, I love those guys. You know what I'm saying? I'm listening to you. I'm just tweeting oh, this. Man, now you're just being rude. Yeah. I'm sorry. Buddy. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's all right. What's his Twitter? What are you tweeting? Just about the fight being asked. Oh, okay. GSP? Tweeting that girl with the round the round. Now, there's yeah. a lot of around pros. Dude, look at you. Wait, what's GSP? Look at you. Wait, what's his name? Now, if I was single, I'd do well. Oh, stop! I'm only kidding. Don't you still do very well. entertain that. What? I don't know. What's his uh? What's just his Twitter? Just oh. George St. Pierre. That's. Pro- I mean, it's probably George St. Pierre, right? All right. That was. What do you think it is, you asshole? That was Chris telling me like that, and he's not wrong. Where's Raging Al? Like Quinta? He should. I mean, he should be here any minute. Come he was supposed on, to come man. like five minutes ago. So. Oh, shit, man. Here. He's probably texting me. Could you text him and let him know that I don't have my phone on me? Because yeah. what if he's saying, "Hey, man, I'm meeting you in Penn." Oh no. Okay. Yeah, I'll text him. Just text oh, him. right. Well, doesn't he know you're here? I don't know what he knows. I texted him last night. I go, you talked to Krista Petusa. He goes, yes, sir. I'm there. Holla. He didn't write holla. I, I usually write No, holla. you do. And you, uh, yeah, I get excited. You haven't heard anything about me being fired, have you? About you getting fired? Yeah. Oh, dude, they get rid of you. You'll most have likely, to get used to someone else. Most likely, uh, they're getting rid of Krista Producer, and I'm going to be stuck. With you. <laughs> I'm only kidding. Liz, I got three kids, Jimmy. I got to do what I got. I'm only kidding. They get rid of you. They get rid of fucking me. No, you know? no, 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 get rid of it. It's hard for I'm me just to say paranoid. That. No, I know. I, I wouldn't want kidding. you to. No, come on. Are you I, kidding me? I would listen. For listen, you. I'm your friend. I'm not like guys in the past that you know that, that I was right, starting right. shit up. But hey, you know I, I, I feel like I know you already. You do know me. Ah, yeah. who's this guy? Get this fucking get this good looking kid in here. By the way, is Dan, Dan is that no, him? it's not him. Dan Hardy. Oh, did you just wave to someone? No, else? just the guy with the beard. George yeah, comes I'm in with no flash in his camera. Janelle. The guy with the fucking ninety megapixel camera, which takes. I, I've actually had sketch artists to clear pictures. Dude, you are fucking. You are too so. You are funny. Wait, what were you going to say about uh, Dan Hardy? Yeah, go ahead. Dan Hardy, clear by cardiologist to continue. Uh, he said it's been 40 years since I've done a training camp, so I got to see how my body feels. I'm walking to 185. I feel strong. I feel lean. I feel better psychologically than I ever have in my career. I'll reiterate, I'm not interested in belts or rankings. If I'm stepping back in, it's going to be a big fight. But then again, Mickey Gall called him out and he said he wants a you know a big fight. But I guess so. I guess he's not interested in he said belts or rankings, but he wants a big fight. Mickey Gall would have been an interesting one. He didn't want to fight a young animal like Mickey Gall. I don't blame him. Um, I'll step in and have a good war, and then I'll step way back into the commentary. That's that's a rough thinking. No, but, listen. Uh, honestly, I think I'm more valuable to the sport in that role than I'm doing now. That see what you said right there. You see how you see that I, face you're making as a commentator. That's it, the face listen, I'm making. You cannot have and that listen. Attitude, right? And I listen. I spent time with Dan Hardy when uh, he was getting ready for that second George fight. Uh, not his second George fight, his first George fight. He had he challenged George for the belt. He went five rounds with George, sure. and he spent some time with me and my guys. He was in it was, it was uh, I think the fight took place in New Jersey, so he's he was in New York and training with me. And a nice guy. I, every time I see him, I like to see him and say hello. And sure. But having said that, he, I think he's doing very well with the commentary. Um, and I think that's where if he's you and Dana says it all the time, and it's true. You can't have a foot in and out of that cage, man. You can't. You got to be all in or all out. Trust me, it's not because then you're just doing it for the. What are you doing it for? If he's like, look, I really want one more. I want to send off a fight. I want. I'm not hearing that. I'm hearing all right. Yeah, one more war, and then I'm gonna. I'm better off suited for this anyway. Then do it. You're yeah, doing that's great. crazy. Thinking. Why do you want to? Unless you, re, if your heart is for one more war, then hey, listen. 
do what you got to do, man. That's great. I hear you, man. I mean, but if uh, if not, if you're like, you know, but I'm better suited for this anyway, and then I didn't. I want you to just keep doing it, unless you. Why would you want to fight again? Unless he feels there's some stuff in the basement he's got to get rid of. I mean, he's great. I mean, listen, yeah, he's, that to, uh, guy is, yeah, I mean, listen, I would love to get the guy in studio. Yeah, the phone connection was not. I am so. Plus it, cutting weight. He's not probably cutting weight at this point, right? Yeah, I mean, he, I mean, yeah. listen, you get that guy after a nice meal, you're not, I think you're not going to get much different. But I love the, the guy's, the guy's great. I mean, this guy fighting. I love the way this guy fights. Al, what do you think of this fight versus Tony, Tony, Tony Ferguson? The guy is a Terminator also. Yep. I feel. I'll tell you what I feel afterwards. I got my know what I'm feeling. I think you probably know that also. What do you think about this fight? After that interview, I don't know. I just kind of. He's intense, man. He's he's definitely uh, he's got it, and he broke down the fight really well. I think Shit, he's, he's right? definitely. No, he's, he's he knows he knows exactly what he's getting what he's in for and the, all the weapons that that uh, that Tony Ferguson has. I was thinking the same thing. Um, the way he was bringing the he, the way he brought up. How Michael Johnson's got more power? Then I'm like, is he sleeping on Tony's stand up? Then he goes, but, then the but Tony's better with the knees. elbows. He's, he's better with the knees. Completely knee. true. And then and he said on the he's floor, a little predictable standing up, which he, is I, the one thing he didn't go into was looking out for his chokes. So that, that's one thing that I really think is going to play a big factor. In, do you? Uh, oh, like his Dar's chokes. Be, and whatnot? He's got chokes from everywhere. Who? Uh, Tony Ferguson. Yeah, he's okay. got those long arms, getting them from everywhere. So if if Khabib. You if know, he sleeps, if, on if, it, if yeah. Tony Ferguson, when when guys get sporadic and kind of unpredictable on their feet, you want to take them down. You know, I think yeah. he, a wrestler, especially like Khabib, yeah. is, is gonna. It's almost instinct for him to shoot in, and I think he can get in trouble with with those chokes. You know, he's got to definitely got to be careful with those. Though, I mean, he, he's listen. He's brought those out before, and it and it got the fight done for him, Tony yeah. Ferguson. But I I feel in the ground. So 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 if you had to make a decision, if you had to pick. Hey, listen, oh, that's a man. rough game. Hey, it's man, rough. and it's we're fighters too, so we hate getting yeah. picked against. I, I think I'm still going to go with uh, with Tony Ferguson. You go with Tony. Yeah, interesting, Jimmy. Well, as you know, I think I'm I'm one in seventy two in picking. Fights. Oh yeah, Jimmy. I Jimmy picks Tony. You stink. <laughs> I'm terrible. The one time I picked against Anderson Silva, I picked fucking uh, Derek Brunson. I'm not the worst. But he won of, the that fight. Was I he did win. Yeah. But I, the point is, I, I never, I never, ever, ever get it right. Uh, I still think Khabib is going to to win. I, I think he's just too dangerous on the ground. F Ferguson's great off his back. I still say Khabib is going to be now. Uh, he, and he, I, by the way, Khabib said people keep asking me about the getting if you were hurt in the fight. Well, of course, because that's the only way people see to beat you is no one is thinking he's going to lose on the ground to anybody. So the only way people see you can beat him is to is to get him uh, by striking. So yeah, Johnson's done him. So it's a logical question. The biggest thing I'm I, what I the, the question I asked him is what's really in, in my head is it's not the fact that I, I believe he's going to get it down. I do because he's a power house man he really is he got a hold of johnson and it was like man you see it coming he's just putting him down he's got i heard he's got gorilla strength man who could be i, I talked yeah. to uh ali his uh his uh manager and that dude's like a, he's like a i think a black belt in judo and and and, and he's uh, i forgot what he is in jiu-jitsu but he's not a, a weak guy he goes yo i've i've rolled with black belts i rolled with khabib and the dude's like a gorilla i've heard so i mean uh, and you can see it but there's different levels in there i want to see what Tony's if in his guard uh, again? Khabib just he pisses past guards, man. He pisses right through him. He's, he cuts right through him and gets sorry, and he has he's a big guy with control. This dude's a very wiry guy. Dan Castillo controlled him, yeah, but did very did nothing he's to just him. Stayed in the guard, did nothing really, to him. Just blanketed him. Yeah, but yeah. that's not Khabib's style. Khabib is going to be posturing up, coming down with heavy strikes, fighting his legs to get into a, a half guard position, and even if he doesn't settle down on him, the other guys can be wrapping around him. Is he going to be able to pass control? I'm banking on Khabib's going to be able to power through a lot of um, uh, Tony's weapons down there. Because I feel that, uh, like when I, I had a guy on top of me, and I'm good at wrapping guys up. It's different, though, because I got little limbs. I'll go to Carol Parisian, because they look like, I'm going to say as far as they get that, like, he's got a, like a Sambo like, kind of strength. like they, But like those those those, judo, those guys um, with the judo background have that explosiveness, too. Hard guy to hold down. It's a different kind of feel. So Khabib's got a very, he's going to be a hard guy to control. If he gets stuck onto all fours, you don't see him there too long, though, because he's usually smushing him up against the fence, you know, and then just, I don't know, man. I, I think Khabib's going to be able to, 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 to take him out. But uh, 
I want to see how he's going to do it, if he's going to be able to really land on him down there. Yeah, dude, listen, I can't wait. I'm just, it is a really – I mean, they're number one and number two for a reason. And there are tickets available, which is shocking that this fight has any tickets available. We talked earlier, and it's like it shocking. really is like a – for guys that watch the sport, it's a great fight. The whole this card is, is great. Yeah. This, I've, yeah. this, uh, of all the fights that are coming up, this is one of the top that I've been – Yeah, me too. Oh, to forever. I've been to my weight class and – this is two the two guys that who knows is gonna it's yeah like, you know we're going back and forth who's, I know who's we just keep talking it. and you can make a case for either guy yeah, it's yeah. really either guy has the tools to win but psh, who's gonna impose that what do you